So, have a name. The second step after that is to find someone who knows more than you do. Someone on the rung of the ladder above ourselves. Two rungs above us, that's hopeful. But one rung above us is possible. And in early 1958, the person who knew more than me in the area was Mrs. Kathleen Gartell of the Corfe Mullins School of Music. She was a pianist who didn't really play guitar, and her main contribution was to give young people an enthusiasm to play music. Now, I was Mrs. Gartell's star guitar pupil. I went through the first book in 10 lessons. Mrs. Gartell then moved me on to a better teacher in the area, Don Strike of Westbourne Arcade, who was a superb player in the 1930s. He gave me a very solid sound technique on guitar. My next guitar teacher was Tony Alton, who brought me into the 1950s. Latin America, bossa nova, rumbus on, and so on. And now in 1971, I had achieved a measure of success, and the Poole and Dorset Herald got in touch with me and said, would you like to visit Mrs. Gartell? We'll take a picture of you with your former teacher. And of course I said yes. Now, this story is also filed under the heading of dangers of the professional life. Subsection 3.2, paragraph A1, <laughs> postscript C, be careful when dealing with photographers from the local press. <laughs> so I went out to Corf Mullen, and in the front room with Mrs. Gartell, I sat at her piano, which she could play and I could not. And the local photographer, and then it was analog, took one picture. He took one photograph. <laughs> now that's a bit cheap, even for even for the Pool and Dorset Herald. I received a contact a week later. In the one photograph we took of you, your eyes were closed. <laughs> Would you like to come back to Corf Mullen and sit with Mrs. Gartell? So we take another photo. And this wasn't possible, so I said no. And the week later, this picture appeared and if you are able to look closely, you will see my eyeballs painted on the spectacles. <laughs>